9 Foods for Breast Cancer Prevention Broccoli Sulforaphane, a compound in broccoli, reduced the number of breast cancer stem cells, which cause cancer spread and recurrence, in mice, according to research from the University of Michigan. Eating broccoli may not deliver enough sulforaphane to achieve the same effect, but to get the most you can, eat your broccoli raw or briefly steam or stir-fry the green florets. Boiling destroys some of the sulforaphane. Salmon. Taking fish oil supplements for at least 10 years can shrink your risk of ductal carcinoma. The most common type of breast cancer, according to a study in cancer epidemiology, biomarkers, and prevention. It's thought that the omega-3 fats in fish oil reduce inflammation, which may contribute to breast cancer. But you can skip the supplement aisle, say the study's researchers, and eat about 8 ounces of oily fish, salmon, sardines, tuna, a week. Olive oil. Another reason to reach for extra virgin olive oil. When researchers in Barcelona gave rats with breast cancer a diet in which fat came predominantly from extra virgin olive oil versus corn oil, they found that the olive oil's antioxidants and oleic acid, a monounsaturated fat, quelled growth of malignant cells. Parsley. University of Missouri scientists found that this herb can actually inhibit cancer cell growth. Animals that were given apigenin, a compound abundant in parsley, and in celery, boosted their resistance to developing cancerous tumors. Experts recommend adding a couple pinches of minced fresh parsley to your dishes daily. Coffee Drinking about 2-12 ounce coffees a day may lower your risk of an aggressive form of breast cancer, says a May 2011 study in breast cancer research. One possibility is that coffee's antioxidants protect cells from damage that can lead to cancer, says study author, Jing Mai Li, Ph.D. More research is needed, so don't up your intake based on these findings just yet. Plums and Peaches Researchers at Texas A&M recently found that, plums and peaches have antioxidant levels to rival, superfood, blueberries, and that they contain two types of polyphenols antioxidants, that may help kill breast cancer cells while leaving healthy cells intact. This is good news, as 180,000 new cases of breast cancer are diagnosed each year and traditional treatments often harm healthy cells. Carrie Ann Kennings, MS, RD, Associate Nutrition Editor, Beans. According to a new report, Published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, upping your fiber intake may help lower your risk of breast cancer, and the more you eat, the more your risk decreases. The researchers found that, for every 10 grams of fiber a woman added to her daily diet, her risk of breast cancer decreased by 7%. That's about a 1 half to 1 cup of beans, depending on the variety. Other foods packed with fiber include barley, bulgur, lentils, peas, artichokes, dates and raspberries. Briarly Wright, MS, RD, Nutrition Editor. Walnuts. Recent research in the journal Nutrition and Cancer suggests walnuts may thwart the growth of breast cancer. In a study out of Marshall University School of Medicine in West Virginia, Researchers substituted the equivalent of 2 ounces of walnuts per day into the diet of one group of mice, the other group was fed a calorically equivalent, but walnut-free, diet. After 34 days, the growth rate of tumors in the walnut eaters was half that of the mice who ate no walnuts. Experts think walnuts' anti-inflammatory properties, which could come from the omega-3 fat alpha-linolenic acid, phytosterols, or antioxidants, may give them their tumor-fighting potential. One caveat. The study dose of 2 ounces supplies 370 calories. Still, walnuts can be part of a healthy diet that can reduce your risk for cancer, says lead researcher Elaine Hardman, 